Are you in the club? Disney Cars Toy Club and today we have a really fun video for you guys. We're going to open up a couple Play-Doh surprise eggs. We also have a couple new blind boxes and we have a Rose Art Color Blanks Illuminate Color Changing Light Up figure. That was a mouthful. Cannot wait to get that out of the box and see what that'll do. Now we're going to start this video off by opening up our Chaos Bunny blind box. And on the side of the box, here's some of the different Chaos Bunnies you can collect. If you watched our last Play-Doh egg video, we got this one right here, which is a very cool looking Chaos Bunny. Let's go ahead and get this opened up. Now this is one of the few boxes that you're not going to see me just, just absolutely destroy when I open it up because I want to keep the boxes in good shape for these. And let's see who we got. Looks like we got a brown one. Here's some of his accessories right here. Almost looks kind of like moose horns. <laughs> and uh, from looking at the side of the box, looks like we got Jackalope right there. He's a two and 16, so he's a common for this set. And let's go ahead and get him put together and we'll see what he looks like. So here is our Chaos Jackalope Bunny put together. As you see, he's got his little antelope horns right there or moose horns, whatever it's supposed to be. And here's the picture of it. And right there on the back, it shows you some of the other ones again. And just one final look. Let's take a look at both of them right there. I'm still definitely digging the blue one a lot more. This one's really cute though, but I just, I really like that blue one. That blue one is just so nice. I'm not sure if I'm going to like any of the other ones more than the blue one. Maybe that snail. But if you guys want to see more of these, be sure and check out the Play-Doh egg video that I'm going to be uploading a little later today. That's going to have some more. Next up, let's grab this red Play-Doh egg that's sitting off to the side. I really like that, that color red from the Play-Doh. It just looks so neat with those green eyes. And let's go ahead and set that off to the side. Pop this thing open and we have a cactus pup. So I showed you guys this last week in a Play-Doh egg video. And some of you guys actually said that you like the pup more than the kitty, which I was kind of surprised about. The pups seem like they're a little bit bigger than the kitties are. And th this one looks like it comes with a little tiny piece of sausage, I think. Let's see, what is this? Yeah, it looks like a little tiny piece of sausage. And that piece of sausage is actually almost cuter than the pup is. But uh, here is our pup. And as you can see, he's got little cactus spikes all over him. And he's crying for some reason. That's a sad pup. That's kind of depressing, isn't it? He's definitely not happy. And right here on the box, let's see, you can see some of the other ones that you can collect. So we've only shown a couple of these so far. That's a pretty neat one. I'm kind of sad that he's sad though. We'll go ahead and set that off to the side. Now, let's open up this multicolor edition Money World. This is a do-it-yourself one. And I have not opened any of these yet. This is going to be the first one. And here's the stickers that come inside of it. So that's what we're going to be using to decorate it. And let's see what color we got. I'm hoping for blue. And we got purple. Purple is my second favorite color. Let's go ahead and take our little paint can out. So you don't know what color you're going to get until you actually open it up. And from looking at the back of the box, there's white, purple, light blue, red, and yellow. So I was kind of hoping for that Carolina blue, but maybe we'll get that one in a future video. And I wonder if he'll hold the paintbrush. It doesn't look like he'll actually grab it. It's a little too small for his hands. But there is our character. And now we're going to do some decorating. Now, if you look at the back of the box, it says you can draw on them, you can paint on them, use pens, pencils, and crayons. So there's all sorts of different ways that you can decorate these, but we're going to be using these stickers for this one. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add his eyes. Now, I am not the best person to put stickers on things. In fact, I always end up putting them on crooked. So I'm going to try my best to put them on the right way for you guys. You know, I almost kind of wish I had done the sunglasses instead of the eyes. Maybe we'll do both. 
and hopefully that's somewhat even. That's sort of even, and let's go ahead and put his sunglasses on. I'm wondering if I should cover up his eyes. Actually, no, because I was I was thinking maybe it'd be see-through, but they're not. So we'll put them we'll put them kind of on the top of his head right here. So there's that. Now we need to add his mouth or her mouth. I'm not sure if it's a he or a she. Let's add the mouth. All right, so that's not perfect, but that's about as good as I can get it. And uh, looks like we got like a little shirt right here. Or excuse me, his tie. Go ahead and put that kind of tucked up under him. And it looks like I was about to put it on uneven. Yeah, it's definitely, it's really hard to get these on perfect. And let's see. Let's put his little name tag thing on here. And actually, I just realized there's like a photo on the back of them. So I guess you could actually decorate the photo too. We'll put his little hello badge right here, maybe. Kind of cover up one of the other stickers, but that's okay. And let's give him a Band-Aid. I just noticed he has a clock right there too. We'll put the Band-Aid on his arm right there. And it's got a little tail too. Just now realized it had a tail. And I'm trying to figure out where I want to put the foamy logo. Maybe we'll just put it right there across his back. The Fumi logo, Fumai. I don't know how to say it. And uh, he's got some. He's got a heart right here too. Let's put the heart maybe on his arm right here on the side. And is that supposed to, I guess that's his nose right here. I almost missed that. It's so tiny. And since my hands are so big, it's kind of hard. To, it makes it even harder to do this stuff because my hands are so big that, like my fingers are so big that it makes it hard to really kind of put the stickers where I want them to go. And let's put one more sticker for his Band-Aid. Let's put it on the, on the, on his back right there. Just kind of slap it right there. So here is our finished decorated Fumi. And if I ever learn to draw or paint, I'll be sure to really customize and decorate one of those for you. Go ahead and set that down, put the little paintbrush next to them. Now let's open this giant Play-Doh egg. And as you can see, it's got little hearts all throughout the Play-Doh and across the top. I like how this one turned out. That's a pretty neat looking Play-Doh egg. Go ahead and take the Play-Doh off. Hopefully I don't drop any of the glass hearts anywhere and look at that we have a unicorno series 2 tokidoki blind box so these are going to be little unicorns as you can see it's got some of the ones right here on the side they don't actually show the chances of each one but that one right there the japanese one with the chopsticks in her hair that one looks pretty cool i also really like the cheetah one and the zebra looking one now it says right here on the bottom, this is not a toy, this is collectible art. So, so make sure to point that out for you guys. But let's go ahead and get this opened up and we will see who we get. I have a feeling these are gonna look really neat. Looking for the tear strip. And of course, this one does not have a tear strip. But it does open up pretty easily. And we got this one. So, let's see, what is the name of this one? This one's gonna be Cheetah. So here's our Cheetah, and it's got the Tokidoki logos kinda all over it, I believe, yeah. There's the Tokidoki logo right there on the front. It's also got like a little skeleton head in the Cheetah paintings. It's also got a little face right there, too. And one right there. That's really neat that they did that. That makes it very unique and interesting just to kinda stare at it and try to find little shapes in there. And it's got gold hooves, that's pretty cool. So there's our first Unicorno Series 2, and I'll let you guys in on a little secret. I did buy a few of these, so you're gonna see some of this in the next Play-Doh egg video that I do as well. We'll go ahead and set that down. And now onto the final item, we have the Rose Art Color Blanks Illuminate Color Changing Light Up Figure. I almost run out of breath just saying that. It's such a long name for for any type of toy, but it includes six permanent markers, a sticker sheet, 
It's collectible, posable, plastic figures. Right here on the back, it shows you kind of an example of what you can make. And as you can see, you can color on these with the markers. There's the sticker sheet. And it does include the batteries that are gonna make it light up. So let's go ahead and get this thing opened up and we'll see what it looks like. Let's go ahead and get it out here. And I guess, what is this? Is this like the instructions maybe? Let's see what's in here first. How to unblank your blank. Okay, that's what it says on the front there. Here's a look at the inside. And it says you can practice before you start. So that's pretty neat that they included that. So you can actually draw on a little bit and figure out what you want to do. I'm trying to do my best not to rip the sticker sheet. So here's our stickers. So here's the markers. These are the colors that you get. And it looks like our blue still has a little bit of tape on it. Now the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to decorate the front of them with one face and then what I'm going to do for you guys, I'm going to attempt to draw something on the other side. So we're going to do two faces here. We're going to do the stickers for the front and these are pretty much the same kind of stickers that we saw on the Money World character right there. It's like a clear sticker that it's kind of hard to get it to flatly go on there. As you can see it's got little creases and stuff. And we're gonna pretty much make the same face that we saw on the box, I think. At least I'm, that's what I'm shooting for anyways. Here's his big nose. And I'm tr trying to decide, I guess we'll use this mouth right here. And hopefully I can get it on there straight. So there is our, our first face. Let's give them a few polka dots too. Maybe we'll just kind of decorate them with these little spots. They almost look like little liver spots, kind of like what Squidward has on the top of his head. Only Squidwards are blue and purple, I think. <laughs> or, they're, or one of those colors, I can't remember which color it is. Now, if you notice, they did not give you anything for his body, so you don't have any stickers really to decorate anything else outside of his face, which is kind of unfortunate. But now, let's go ahead and decorate the other side. So we're gonna spin his face around, and as you can see, we have a whole nother side to work with. So let's do some drawing. I'm gonna do my best here to try to make this at least somewhat neat. Now for the finishing touch, I'm going to actually add these eyes over the top of what I colored right here. Let's go ahead and add one more. Now you have to be kind of careful when you paint these because if you notice, like right here on my finger, the color was actually coming off. So it's going to take a little bit for that to dry. But there is my color, colored monster with a big Z right there. 
And here's one more look at the front so that you guys can kind of see what it looks like with the stickers and the markers. Of course you could color the back too. It's not my best artistic work, but for a bunch of scribbling that's not too bad. All right, so I had to do a little edit right here because the batteries that came with this unit that were already inside of there did not work. So I had to go down to the store and buy some more, but it works now. So we are gonna be able to see this, hopefully glow a little bit. I'm gonna have to turn the lights off. There's one, there's two, there's three. And now you can kind of see it glowing a little bit. Now it should have two different modes that's gonna change. Yeah, there it goes. It's changing colors right here in front of us. Here's a look at the other side. And as you can see, it just turned from, I guess it was bluish purple to red. Now it's green. So that's kind of a neat little toy to have in your room at night. It's almost like a little night light. I think the blue color is probably my favorite so far, but it almost kind of like pulsates the colors. So this would be kind of a fun project to spend the day doing, just coloring it and spending a little bit more time on it than I did. But if you want to find this, I bought this at Hobby Lobby. It was $13. You can also pick these up on eBay. You might be able to find it at other craft stores as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. That certainly helps support the content on this channel. This is Disney Cars Toy Club, and as always, thanks for stopping by.